Hi, I'm Mish, or Mick, whatever you want to call me. And last week I launched my blog. And the whole goal of the blog was to share my experiences with hopes that people could relate to the things I have on my mind. And this week, one week in, I decided to add video. So for the first video, it's all about why I quit drinking. Was there one singular event that led me to not drink? No, it was more of a, a gradual process over the last couple of years. Beforehand, everything I did revolved around alcohol. Friday nights, work, uh, friends, family. It was pretty much the nucleus of every event and I was having a blast, don't get me wrong. But I was going hard very consistently and once in a while my body would just tell me, listen, you gotta slow down. So I would and I'd slow down. Then a month would go by and I'd get right back into it and go even harder. And then my body would sound that alarm again. So I'd take even more time off. And when that routine started to happen of me taking breaks, it dawned on me when I got back to my drinking habit, how awful I felt all the time compared to when I was clear. And when I was fresh off of a, you know, two month of clarity, and I went out on Friday night, I'd be done for two days at least. I wasn't back to normal for a long time. And, and I just did a little math, maybe to encourage myself, maybe I manipulated the numbers, whatever it is. But I said, if I go out and it takes me two days to recover, and I'm drinking three times a week, then six out of seven days, I'm not clear. That means I'm rolling with one out of seven days. One out of seven is 14%. And for years, I had gone really, really crazy. And so 14% was conservative. When I realized that, I just knew how much better I felt and how much more I was doing when I wasn't, you know, operating 14%. I just said, what can I really do? What if I operated at 100? What was I able to, because up till now, I was, I was mediocre in everything I did. Sure, I, I'm, maybe I'm a, I'm a great salesman to myself and I can believe my own bullshit. But once I got clear, I wasn't even able to stomach my own bullshit anymore. And, and I just honestly looked myself in the mirror and said, what could you do with 100%? You're obviously not playing with a full deck. So it's now or never. And why not quit while you're ahead? So it was, it was months and months and months of of drink, quit, drink, quit, drink, quit, until I realized the drinking just had no more interest for me because I wasn't running optimally. I couldn't see clearly, I couldn't think clearly. It just didn't make sense to me. And I wanted to see what I could really do. And that's essentially why I quit drinking, just to see what I really had in the tank. And now it's been about two years and I feel a lot better. Life's a lot more real. I have to deal with things dead on but it's a lot more exciting and things are moving really fast. And that's why I'm here in front of a door talking to you about it. So that's why I quit drinking, just to see what I could really do. I was fed up with my own bullshit. I was fed up with my routine. And I knew if I continued at 14% until 60 years old, I, I couldn't live with myself knowing that I didn't achieve my full potential. And that's pretty much it. Tell me how I did. Thanks, bye.